Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan and here's yet another tutorial on creating a chess solver. So uh, we left last time with a bit of a problem, let's uh, fix it first. Uh, remember uh, when we uh, ran it, uh, there was, uh, it was giving you addresses with negatives and stuff and uh, it wasn't quite proper. And uh, there's actually two errors that I noticed. Um, the first error is that uh, uh, the first line of code was correct. It, it correctly uh, solves the um, solves the horizontal. But um, all right. So uh, the thing that we forgot to change on this next one was I was a little too quick. I should have changed the way you type in the address. This uh, this should just stay as a C, and uh, this R should turn into the R plus temp times J. Uh, like so. So I'll copy that line and make it the same there. Now I will run it and you notice good job there. All Everything's fine but notice I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's uh, uh, four extra ones there and the first four make sense. For instance uh, the first one is five zero four zero and there's another one that takes a pawn five zero one zero. Um, so you notice that uh, you start off in this left, uh, upper left hand corner, the way you start reading, you'd read this way, except here you start going vertically down first and then across. So we go 5 down to the R and 0 across, 5, 0, 4, 0 is the first one, then 3, 0, 2, 0, and then 1, 0 takes a pawn. But then it provides four extra ones. And the reason it does that is for a simple little mistake here that I should have put in a temp equals 1. Uh, set the temp to 1 right after the catch. Now when we run this it only goes there. That, the reason for that was when it went to the next uh, J level then it, uh, it started at 4. So it started at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and it found 4 options. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, it just went across there. Uh, so on. So it just it jumped over this pawn basically. So now when you put a space there um, you should get about 11 and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 because 7 across and 4 up. So that's a total of 11. All right, now uh, we're going to focus on this uh, knight and uh, trying to get the knight to work and the knight has a unique uh, uh, way of moving. And uh, one easier thing about it is that it does, we don't need this whole second thing, uh, as in, uh, or this whole keep moving if it's blank. It's just check this spot. It, should, it can jump over things, in a sense. Uh, and so uh, that can make it easier. Um, but it does jump. It doesn't jump in a linear motion. It jumps in an L shape, basically, right? So uh, in uh, my tutorial here, uh, um, uh, it could jump from here to there or to there or there, or there. So uh, if I were to clear the board, this piece here could end up in any one of these locations. I could take this piece and drag it all over there. If this board was blank and none of my pieces occupied this and didn't put me the king in check. But you can see it's kind of almost a circular uh, view because it's uh, small. Anyways, but it makes an L. It goes two one direction, one the other way. Um, so we got to come up with a way of doing it. And what we'll basically do is have two methods. One will check this one and this one. It'll check every second one, pretty much. It'll just check all those. So there'll be four of those. And it will check four of the other kind of L. And, uh, and, that'll, and the combination will uh, check all eight positions that a knight could move to. So we'll start off very much the same way. I'll just copy all of that. Um, this line there, so we get a a string and an old piece and a R and a C for row and column. Um, if you've forgotten that, and then uh, we have a J is this, and we even have a K and a while inside here. Um, and I'll end the try there. Put in a little catch, so I'm just uh getting the general structure here. So for J and for K, 
And both of these should be a plus equals 2, not a plus plus. And now, uh, where is this location? Because we're jumping in this strange L shape. So what we will say is if the lowercase at R plus J, don't multiply it by any temp. Um, actually, we don't even need a temp value. A temp is only for incrementally moving an indefinite uh, length. Or that's how I use that temp in the other ones. All right, so I pl R plus J, sorry. And then uh, C plus um, K times 2. That will get you your mo motion. So J is either positive or negative 1, same with K. So let's say if uh, K, or let's just start at the initial, where they're both negative 1. So this will say R um, minus 1 is what it works out to. So it goes one back in one direction, and in the other direction, negative 1 goes back 2. So it goes 1 in the one direction and 2 in the other direction. And anyways, if you go through each one of those, it goes 1 in one direction, 2 in the other, and it tries four different patterns because J has two values, and for each of those, K has two values. So um, that works out to a total of every second K position, as I said. This one, this one, this one, this one, and so on, and the other four, which we will create afterwards. Um, so we will say, if it is lowercase, um, at, uh, so we actually don't want a while statement here. Uh, I should have changed that. Um, we want an if statement there. We want to say, if it's blank there, and then there's another option. I just want to be consistent in my formatting. Um, so I'm going to go to my, uh, my hang there. Okay, so that was the second thing I would do. Um, now the first one that I would put in is if character dot is lower case of this location right here. So if it's lower case, and then put a dot uh, char at zero. So if that spot's lower case or blank. And lower case, uh, um, a, an empty spot here, if you say is this lower case, and if you say if it's upper case, both will return uh, false. Uh, a blank space is not lowercase nor uppercase, which makes sense, but I just want to uh, um, let you uh, know how that works in case uh, you would uh, think of a creative way of combining the two. All right, um, so uh, if this is true, then uh, we're going to, uh, there's lots of repetition in this programming thing, uh, but uh, we'll put uh, then old piece, um, oh, I can actually just uh, paste that, and then uh, chess, whoops, yes, chessboard RC equals nothing, so remove it, and then set the new location to knight, and knight stands for knight and not king, just a reminder there, oh, made a mistake there, um, why is it saying is wrong? Illegal start of expression. Uh, equals night. No. It's not happy with that for some reason. And I'm not exactly sure um, what is wrong with it. Um, but anyways, I'll just uh, leave that for now. Um, let's make sure that's the same. Yes. Anyway, I will uh, have no idea why that is incorrect. If I get rid of that. Nope. Then if I change this. Ah, maybe, oops, uh, so it's just not happy no matter what I do. 
Uh huh. Anyway, um, I'm just going to let it be what it is and then say, uh, we'll just move on, I guess. So then we have the if uh, king safe whole situation. In fact, I will just copy that. There we go. Uh, if king safe. Ah, looks like I'm missing a bracket though. Um, for that, for that, try. That applies to that. Uh, usually means that uh, I need another bracket somehow. So I'm just going to undo till I don't see a move. There we go. Uh, nope. Still more errors. Try that. Try that. Ah. I believe I've figured that out. All right, let's see if this works. So I need a, a new bracket there. Um, missing brackets usually cause errors all over, and this was an error, so that's how I noticed that. All right, so now when I paste, uh, not sure, yes, this whole if king safe dealy, um, which will change exactly what it is, and then we put the pieces back. So uh, it would be chessboard RC and that equals the knight again and then whoops and then the uh, uh, other spot restore it back to uh, its old piece. Alright, there we go. Now we got to change uh, what this uh, list says. So it would be R plus C, that's correct. And then it would be um, R plus J in brackets, followed by um, this C plus K times 2 in brackets, like so. That is how you uh, uh, tell the king four of its moves. Now, once that is done, um, and we've caught the expression, we'll copy this whole thing from the try to the catch. Um, if that makes sense, from the try to the catch, and then we'll paste that in as another try and catch, and this will catch the other four. And in this case, we're going to change it. Um, and so the quick way, of course, is doing the control H, find this. And we'll start it here, find next, so it starts at the first one, and replace it with, and we will edit this to, uh, we want to replace it to, let's see, R plus J times 2, and then C plus K, I believe it would be. Uh, let's try that. We'll see. So there's about four, and don't replace the top four things. All right, so we replace that. We don't have to reset temp at the bottom. There is no temp dealing with knights. Okay, now let's uh, set this board. So I'm going to get rid of this rook um, and put in a knight. Now when I put in a knight here, um, let's see. I'm going to put in a knight right here in this corner. Now. How many spots does it have to move? It has uh, one place here. It has another place there. So two, three, four. Hopefully we're going to get about four spots. Um, but we don't. We get a bunch of other things, and some of those are negatives. All right. It is correct on these first two. One captures a pawn, one captures a knight. Here's the pawn, and here's the knight. Those two are correct, and it is correct on the two spaces. Um, what it is not correct on are most likely our last four. If you do a slash star and a star slash, 
you uh, basically put all that into comments and you will now see that uh, it picked two of those to be correct. So uh, we uh, have a little bit of a mistake within this uh, night situation. So let's have a look at our code and see what could be the mistake. Um, this uh, J times 2 and C plus K. Uh, let's see if my uh, this is correct. Um, definitely the list is incorrect in how it's titling it. Uh, we want an RC and then an R and then a uh, yes R plus j times 2. So this is the same mistake we made last time. I'm uh, definitely not learning from my mistakes here. Uh, let's see if that works. So I guess the replace didn't work in that spot. Now we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 positions it sees for a night. Now, why, and I believe this is correct, why is there 8? Notice this night can move 1, 2, three, four places. Why is there eight? The answer is there's a knight here and a knight here. And they both have two moves apiece, making another four, which brings me to eight. So if I were to get rid of these two, you would find out that um, now there are only one, two, three, four. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six spots it now has. Now it's getting that from 1, 2. Um, now if I get rid of that knight, uh, it still sees two places that can move, but I don't have any uh, capital knights anywhere. So what seems to be the issue here? Um, let me see. It looks for the knight and sends and does possible K. Now, what we're going to do, I'll just show you this. Instead of uh, solving it, um, I'm going to put a, a little square. Clicking on the side puts a little uh, stop signs. And you hit this run thing here. It will actually only run until um, it hits um, this line here, all right? Um, and so it hits this line, and it never hit this line. Now, um, what are these other two moves doing? Uh, they are 7071 is one of those moves. So let's have a look. If you go to uh, 7071, so that first move happened to be a rook could move over, which is correct. So in this case, what we have is not an error, but we forgot that rooks could move. We're not just looking at knights. So now if I get rid of those, nothing appears. And if I put a knight here, you are now going to notice that you get uh, the expected four. So here's an example of um, you, the more pieces you start putting in here, like just as when I put in these, now I believe we're going to get uh, eight. But when you remove those, you don't lose all four positions because you add two rook positions and uh, so on. And so uh, once we add a uh, pawn movement, we should have a total of 20 initial moves um, because pawns can move forward two or one in the beginning and knights can jump out uh, at the beginning. And that uh, uh, two times eight for both pawn moves is 16 and then four for the knights brings you to initial move of 20. So now we have finished making the rooks we are almost done. We are left with the pawn, but the pawn, unfortunately, is the most complicated. Until next time, enjoy Java.